everybody. Today I want to talk about leg mites. I, in some ways, am not very qualified to talk about leg mites or things like this. I don't have the book knowledge to tell you exactly what they are and all that good stuff. But uh, if you're really interested in leg mites, you can go on Google and look it up and find out all the details about leg mites. But what I do have is a lot of experience with leg mites, unfortunately. About, uh, oh, must be about six years ago, I started on a stretch of terrible, terrible problems with leg mites. All my horses had them. The, the ones that had the worst were Buck and, and Ken, the black ones, the Pertrons. I feel that Pertrons, at least the Pertrons I've had, and I've had quite a few pair, their, their skin is more susceptible to problems like that. Um, they just don't have a very tough skin. Um, I don't know how that, if that has anything to do with leg mites, but it does seem like these two blacks are the worst ones I've had. So anyways, I had this stretch about six years ago when it started, and I just tried everything to get rid of these leg mites. I, I knew there were leg mites because we actually took some samples of the leg mites and sent them in, and or maybe just the vet looked at them and knew for sure that they were leg mites. Um, there's other diseases out there that, or I guess you'd call it a disease out there that would be considered close to it. Um, scratches is one, greased heel is, is another one. They're sort of similar, but they're definitely not the same thing. Leg mites is an actual mite, an actual parasite that gets mostly in the, in the lower legs, um, front legs and hind legs, close to the hoof head of their, of their hooves. And they tend to hit mostly during the winter months. They're worse in the winter, winter months. So when this happened about six years ago, I started out just deworming them, just using regular um, dewormer. And that would seem like it would work, but it would work just for two weeks, 14 days. What happens with these mites is they have a 14-day period of, um, they have, you can kill the adult worm, but then the, you, you can kill the, the adult um, mite, but they have eggs that will hatch in 14 days. That's what the cycle is. And so they start all over again. So um, I would deworm them to start with, and then 14 days later, they started causing trouble again. Now, when I say causing trouble, what happens is they stamp, especially their hind feet, they're just standing there and just stamp and stamp because they're, they're, it itches. They would also, with their front feet, they put them up in the manger. Buck especially does a chew on his front foot. When I let him outside, he'll go outside, lay right down, and start chewing on his hind feet. Here is Buck yesterday. I let him out to the pasture, and he laid right down and started chewing on his hind feet just like this. And what happens when it gets bad, it'll actually get sores more so from him chewing than the actual egg mite them, of the more than the leg mite itself. Um, because it itched so bad, they would chew all the time and try to relieve the itch. So when those symptoms occurred, two weeks after I wormed them, I knew that they were back again. So quite often I would worm them again. Well, in the process of doing this continual worming, I actually made things worse because it not only, it, it got, so the worming medicine wouldn't even work. And not only that, it wouldn't work for the leg mites, but it also wouldn't work for the other worms that ha they had in their bodies. It, it just, the worms got used to the worming medicine and it just didn't even affect them. So I actually caused, in the long run, more troubles than I had originally. I dealt with a vet quite a bit trying to solve this problem, and they would give me all kinds of different things that I tried, uh, leg washes, special washes that I would try to get rid of these mites, and I just, nothing worked. This went on for probably three years, just every winter especially, even the summertime, but especially in the wintertime, it was just, just a nightmare trying to get rid of these leg mites, which I never did. So then I can remember about that time, towards the end of that time, I called down to um, Jeffers. Uh, Jeffers is a veterinary place down in down south, and I'm not promoting Jeffers at all, but I called down there and I said, what do you have for leg mites? So they were, 
they put a, their, their veterinarian right on the phone, which I was very pleased. And immediately he says, take cattle dewarmer, just the pour on cattle dewarmer that you, on the cows, you would put it across their backs and it wormed the cattle. He says, take that dewormer and put it around the hoof head of all four feet. Um, so that's what I did. I think he probably told me to clip their, their legs some, and I think I did. Um, but I think I, I did it like once or twice, and I haven't had, worm, I haven't had mites for like three years. Um, it's been a longest stretch. It's been so nice. Recently, Buck, and he's the only one bothering, he's been starting to stamp his feet and starting to chew on his legs again. So I know the mites are back. Um, I th another thing I did back when I had my old stalls, they would actually get into the wood and they'd last for, you know, all summer long. They would, I don't know what they'd do if they, they just sit there or whatever, but then come winter, they'd hit them hard again. And so I did all kinds of things to their stalls thinking I could get them out. I put Clorox in their stalls. I put lime in their stalls, all kinds of different things to try to kill those leg mites from being in their stalls. So anyways, a few weeks, it's been a, not that long, a few weeks before I got these new stalls in, I noticed very slight um, symptoms of this problem all over again. He was just stamping a little bit and once in a while he'd chew his feet. And so, and that's continued and it's actually got worse. So now I'm not going to wait any longer. I'm going to treat it and I'm going to treat it the same way I did six years ago or three years ago, whatever it was. Um, I, I'm hoping it's just a rare occurrence and it's going to take care of the problem, but I really don't know and we'll just have to wait and see. So this is the product. When that vet, get out back. When that vet helped me on the phone, he just told me to get pour on Ivamec for cattle. And so um, I don't even remember the, if there was a several brands to choose from, but I, I got a brand and it worked great. This time, a week or so ago, um, I went to tractor supply and there was two or three kinds there and this is the kind that I picked up. And I'm assuming that this is, will work just fine. So what I want to do now is put Buck into the shoe and stocks and clip his legs some and then pour this stuff on. Um, another thing that I have read from um, that with horses that have a lot of feathers on their legs and a lot of hair on the legs, they're more prone to get leg mites. I remember, you know, in that th three year period where I had them so bad, I clipped um, his and all the horses legs quite a lot thinking I could help the problem, but it still did not work. Did not help them until I put this on. And I'm a firm believer of this because it worked one time and it's worked for, it's helped for years. Um, there may be other ways that work as good or better. Um, and if there are, by all means, put them in the comments below. I'd, I'd love to hear some of your, your ways you've dealt with leg mites. A lot of people will have leg mites for years and don't even think about it because it's maybe just on a very small scale. And so they'll hear their horse stamping in the barn or something or watch them chewing their legs once in a while and not even realize. It actually took me a long time to even realize that they were leg mites. Um, a lot of people just have had very little experience. A lot of vets have a very little experience with leg mites. Quite often they think it's scratches or some other problem with their legs um, and not actually leg mites. And generally, um, I think a lot of people feel that when you wear them, you should be getting rid of those mites. But it just, for my horses, my case back then, it did not work. And it did not work this time either because we just wore these horses a few weeks ago. And they, it did not stop the leg mites from irritating Buck. Um, now, none of the other horses are showing any signs, signs of it. So I'm not gonna do anything else to the other horses. I'm just gonna deal with Buck. And so I'm gonna take him to socks, clip some of the hair off, I'm all, although my clippers are pretty dull right now, but I'm gonna try and get some of the hair off and then pour this onto his legs. And then I'll give you an update as the weeks go on as to how well he's doing. Come on.
Get up. Get up. Get up there. Okay, so I'm just gonna do one foot for this video and then I'll put the pour the stuff on to show you what, what I'm doing and then I'll have to do the rest of the feet. But uh, I have to be a little careful. I'm feeling down here and uh, I tried, I think this other foot the other day in the stall and these sores can get pretty sore. <laughs> and so um, he did not want me touching them. See that? Did you see that? That's what, that's what he does. And that's why I know it's the leg mites. This is exactly what's happened before. So I'm gonna have to be very careful when I'm clipping them. And I probably won't be able to do a perfect job of clipping, but there's that one spot right there that's really, really bothers them. So I'm just gonna have to do the best I can and then pour the, um, the pour on dewormer on their legs and hope for the best. But it's more that foot there than these others. Years ago when it was so bad, I had some terrible sores all around his foot, right, on, right along the top of his hoof. And uh, of course there's nothing, I don't even feel anything at all. So it's just the beginning stages of those stupid mites really causing trouble. So the sooner I can get rid of them, the better off I'm gonna be. Okay, so that hoof is clipped fairly well around the, right around the hoof head, right, which is right just above where the, where the wall of the hoof is. And that's where I'm gonna pour the, the liquid, right around, all the way around like that. Apparently, you put it on like that, and you fill up. Of course, if you're going with cattle on deworming properly, you, you have to have the right amount for the cows, but of course, that's not what we're doing. So this has a little opening right there, if you can see it. And so I'm just gonna take that very carefully in this blue liquid, just go around their hoof. I'll go do the front part first. I want to get around the whole hoof. So that's all it is with these uh, applicators or whatever you call them. It's really easy to do because you can fill up this container here by squeezing. And you get a fair amount in there and then you just tip it and it pours right onto their legs. So anyways, this worked really good three years ago. So I have high hopes that it's gonna work great now. So I just gotta finish clipping up the other um, three feet and put this on the hoof head and hope for the best. So I will keep you updated on how well that goes for him. As long as I don't get my head kicked off by when I fool around his other hind foot, we'll be all set. I guess you could watch it for a few minutes.
Okay, we got the bad foot down. Now we'll put some on that foot. I'm actually going to put it heavier on that foot than the first foot because I know that's the one that's the sorest and the bothers him the most. So I want to really get it so it kills all those mites. I don't make a habit of trimming my horse's hot legs, although I really like a horse that is all clipped up. They look pretty sharp and all those lower feathers are clipped like right clean. Of course, I guess that's just a preference once again that I like that a lot of people don't like. But uh, it, when I'm working in the woods, I would prefer having the longer feathered legs because it actually protects them some in the woods. So I don't make a habit of clipping them, um, especially in the wintertime, like right now. But uh, for this situation, it has to be done. So we'll fill up the container. and dump it on. It's at the back part where it seems to bother him the most, so that's where I'm gonna get, try to get the most on. But I want it all the way around. Yeah. Done with the front ones. So I'm not going to bore you by showing you how I do the front ones, but I got to do them too, and then it'll be all done. And I'll keep you informed as to how well this works if the, if the mites actually go away. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe even learned something. Like I said, I'm not very qualified to tell you what all the ins and outs of foot, foot mites, but I have had some really serious issues with them, and this is one way that has really worked and solved the problem. So have a great day.